The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, and he that hath little business shall become wise. How can he get wisdom that holdeth the plough, and that glorieth in the gold, that driveth oxen, and is occupied in their labours, and whose talk is of bullocks? He giveth his mind to make furrows, and is diligent to give the kind fodder. So every carpenter and workmaster that laboureth night and day, and they that cut and grave seals, and are diligent to make great variety, and give themselves to counterfeit imagery, and watch to finish a work. The smith also, sitting by the anvil, and considering the ironwork, the vapour of the fire wasteth his flesh, and he fighteth with the heat of the furnace. The noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears, and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he maketh. He setteth his mind to finish his work, and watcheth to polish it perfectly. So doth the potter sitting at his work, and turning the wheel about with his feet, who is always carefully set at his work, and maketh all his work by number. He fashioneth the clay with his arm, and boweth down his strength before his feet. He applieth himself to lead it over, and he is diligent to make clean the furnace. All these trust to their hands, and every one is wise in his work. Without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit high in the congregation. They shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of judgment. They cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken. But they will maintain the state of the world, and all their desire is in the work of their craft. I will now remember the works of the Lord and declare the things that I have seen. In the words of the Lord are his works. The sun that giveth light looketh upon all things, and the work thereof is full of the glory of the Lord. The Lord hath not given power to the saints to declare all his marvellous works, which the Almighty Lord firmly settled, that whatsoever is might be established for his glory. He seeketh out the deep and the heart, and considereth their crafty devices. For the Lord knoweth all that may be known, and he beholdeth the signs of the world. He declareth the things that are past and for to come, and revealeth the steps of hidden things. No thought escapeth him, neither any word is hidden from him. He hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished, and he hath no need of any counsellor. Oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spark. All these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. All things are double one against another, and he hath made nothing imperfect. One thing establisheth the good of another. And who shall be filled with beholding his glory? Pride of the height, the clear firmament, the beauty of heaven with his glorious show. 
the sun when it appeared it, declaring at his rising a marvelous instrument, the work of the Most High. At noon it parcheth the country, and who can abide the burning heat thereof? A man blowing a furnace is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, breathing out fiery vapors and sending forth bright beams. It dimmeth the eyes. Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment it runneth hastily. We may speak much, and yet come short. Wherefore, in sum, he is all. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning, such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies, leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people, wise and eloquent in their instructions, such as found out musical tunes and recited verses in writing. Rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations. All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them, that their praises might be reported. And some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they had never been, and are become as though they had never been born, and their children after them. But these were merciful men, whose righteousness hath not been forgotten. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. Their seed standeth fast, and their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever, and their glory shall not be blotted out. Their bodies are buried in peace, but their name liveth forevermore. The people will tell of their wisdom, and the congregation will show forth their praise.